same thing, it's even brighter. Magic. Wonder if it can shock me. Here, instead of the LEDs, I put my fingers across the wires and short across my fingers. Eh, well, yeah, I mean, I can feel it, so there are pulses of high voltage. <laughs> Whee! Magic! And bam! Magic! Magic! And ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, magic! Of course I joke, it's not magic, it's magic. There. So don't overheat your magnets. Goodbye, love. Ouch! Not everything hot is kissable. You to really feel magnetism in your heart. And let's stick to primitive ways. <laughs> and that's why they say a capacitor blocks DC, but an inductor blocks AC. <laughs> then go ahead and slap yourself across the face on both cheeks. For example, if I measure the outlet voltage, <laughs> Never handle live voltage. I'm a professional. Let me explain. Ow! The... Oh man. Making the scope ground floating and connecting into live wire means that all the exposed scope grounds like these BNC connectors are now exposed live wires that can shock you. Anyway, here we have a full bridge rectifier and the other one to measure the output. God damn it! I touch the live wires here and then I can touch the heater element and turn it on. Of course it only takes a fraction of a second to charge which depends on the amount of Did I connect it backwards? I think I did. Which makes for great pyrotechnics. Let's look at it again. But it's not like people could generate electricity on demand. Okay, let's check this pipe. Ow, I was pretty sure it was grounded, but it's not. Sometimes I think thinking inside the box can save your life. Okay, let's just not touch anything. Nothing here, nothing here. Oh, GFCI popped. Okay, let's check the toaster. Ow! It's not grounded either. Let me demonstrate using the rectifier. Now if I bring the circuit close to the live wires. Oh, hey, look. I didn't need to use live naked wires for this test. These are some popular harmless toys. And that's what's wrong with them, because no pain, no gain. <laughs> then the light will turn on and let us know. Yeah, I'm doing so. <laughs> the proof of concept worked too well. It shocked me and it blew up. And it's lethal, so don't try this at home. Both across the primary and let go. Ow, sh This was strong. Really? With just two volts? <laughs> Does it mean I can get shocked with a single double A battery? Ow! Ow! That went through my entire body. This has great potential. <laughs> Let's see how badly it shocks. I hate getting shocked. Ow! This is pretty painful too. Let's try it one more time. Ow! Ow, I hate it. Let's try it one more time. Okay, ready? Let's try it out. Ow! Oh, 
works. I guess it's better than Russian roulette. Let's remove something a bit challenging now. Careful. Yeah. I think the surprise factor makes it hurt more. Handles because we don't want to run electricity through body. Now let's see if it works. Ow! Yeah, it works. Be careful. It's not too hard. See, you just have to avoid touching the other wire. And who goes further? <laughs> Wins. Done. Ow! I didn't go far. Okay, let me try again. Ow! Ow! This one was bad. Ouch! 